So after weeks and weeks of buildup and articles and anticipation and theorizing about today's solar eclipse, people seem pretty stoked. You know, they keep snagging these pictures that they took of the moon covering the sun's rays. Broadcasts out the wazoo the world over, just getting every angle you could possibly get of this thing. You can't even Google your own name without being reminded of it. Classic fucking Google, just keeping those coals burning on the hype train. So in 241 or whatever the fuck rolled around, I decided, hey, you know what? It looks pretty legit. It looks kind of overcast outside. I I'm gonna go snag my own photos or videos, see, see what happens. I, I, I want to be included. I want to feel like I'm part of something. So I go out there, I snag an image, and uh, how do I think it turned out? Well, I don't know. It's a little hard to review that sort of shit when you can't fucking see. But frankly, from what I remember, I don't remember it looking that great. In fact, I remember it kind of looking like, you know, cloudy weather. Nothing out of the ordinary, like we might see a little rain later or some shit like that. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think, you know what, this this, this all might have been some some scam. And I, I know exactly who, who propagated it, who set the whole thing up, who wanted to make a quick buck off of everyone's excitement for something that seemed really, really cool and cosmic. Whatever fucking greasy hand Melvin came up with those 3D glasses with the, the red and blue before this James Cameron Disney 3D shit started happening. It's that guy. He's up to this. That guy. And before today rolled around, I said I'd be a monkey's uncle before I ever paid money for something that I could have made my own goddamn self. Wherever you are, dude, I hope you're happy. Because you took this thing, you took this beautiful thing, this thing that, that Twitter dug back into the archives of old media to find this really touching clip of this guy saying, hey, maybe, maybe when the next one happens, the, the world will be awesome. No, it's not awesome. We live in a world where people try to market cardboard and plastic taped together as some cutting edge technology that allows you to see space things. We live in a world where Michael Bay can continue to make a fifth Transformers movie. We live in a world where Spider-Man 4 isn't Spider-Man 4, it's, it's Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 6? Oh, no, no, that's Spider-Man 1 as well. We live in a world where you can't even make a s'more without doing a Nazi salute. I don't know what Nazis have to do with s'mores. Anyway, I've ranted enough. I'm out of here. I got more important shit to do. I gotta get reacclimated to my life without being able to s-